I want to demonstrate how to create buffers or pedestrian sheds around selected features. So I'm going to open QGIS. I'm working on the Mac side this time. And go ahead and uh, select the Add Vector Layer tool or button and uh, we're going to browse for a streets layer. Go ahead and select streets. And one of the first things we need to do with the streets layer is make sure that our project properties are set uh, to the right projection so that we can um, measure correctly and create our buffers based on that five minute walking radius. Um, select under file, you want to select project properties and make sure that you have for our coordinate reference system, we wanted to know that we're dealing with the Google Mercator reference system. That's, that's the projection that the data I've provided for you, that's the projection it's in so that we can retrieve those um, that Google imagery. But we need to make sure that Project Properties is aware of this, so go ahead and select that. Next thing you want to do is select Layer, New, Shapefile. And we're going to be adding a new vector layer which is a point vector layer and all vector layers are either in the form of a point, a line, or a polygon. It's asking you for attribute data um, that you might want to add. We don't need to add anything right now. It automatically includes an ID field and we will be, um, we will be able to interactively add our own ID to the points that we are adding. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So go ahead and click on OK give this layer a name. Let's call it um, intersections. So now, next thing we need to do is click on the little toggle editing blue um, crayon here. And so now we're in editing mode. And now we want to select capture point. And you'll see that you now are toggling um, a little round uh, bullet point here and you're just going to click wherever you want to add one of those intersections and we'll call this one one. We can always go back in later and add attribute data. Um, I want to go back to full extent. Uh, let's say we have a main intersection that we know of here and we know that there's one here and we're just interactively adding what we know to be the most important points in this neighborhood. Okay, so we're done with that. We select again this toggle editing blue crayon and let's go ahead and say yes, we want to save the changes to that layer. So we have very easily created a new layer of points. Now at this point we're going to add the buffers around those points, around those intersections that we've just selected. So we select Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Buffers. And we want our buffer, you select uh, what layer you're buffering, in this case it's intersections, and we want that buffer distance to be a quarter mile. Now our particular projection, Google Mercator, is working in meters. So a quarter mile is approximately 400 meters. So we are going to just type in 400 and it wants us to select an output shape file. So we will select browse and we'll say intersection buffers. Save that and now select OK and it created it that quickly and it wants to know if we're going to add this we can say yes okay and there you have it those are our pedestrian sheds around those intersection points that we just added now at this point we want, might want to buffer other things as well so we in particular we want to buffer the other public spaces that we know about. Let's select schools and let's select parks. 
So now we have schools and parks added, and we want to create buffers around those. So we're going to again select Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Buffer, and this time it's defaulted to parks. Let's again have our quarter mile distance of 400 meters. Output shapefile is going to be park buffer. There are the buffers for our parks. And we might want to put our parks on, drag our parks on top of there. Same with our intersections. Next thing we want to do is create buffers around the schools. So again, vector, geoprocessing tools, buffers, schools, distance of 400, buffer, schools.